Hello everybody out there and welcome back here once again with the future and this time I have a VHS collection update. This will be my Disney um, clamshell special 4.0. I've done three other Disney clamshell um, special updates so make sure you go back in my uploads and check those out. Go back into my DVD and VHS collection zone playlist on my channel and it will be there. Um, I want to thank everybody who has tuned in lately, dropped any comments, left any kind of feedback, gave me a thumbs up, or subscribed. I really appreciate it. If it's your first time watching and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and drop a comment down below. Um, it'll be much appreciated. But here we go um, on my Disney VHS collection clamshell update here, 4.0. And as you, if you've seen my past Disney clamshell updates, I show off all the clamshells that I've picked up recently. These are the Disney related stack right here, but I have this stack over here that are not Disney, but they're all classic and I wanted to show them off in this video since I'm showing off all my clamshells. After this, um, I will take you back um, behind me and show you uh, my overall collection of all the clamshells that I already had that I'm making an update to here. Um, as well, so let's get into it. Um, the first one, I already have this movie um, in the regular VHS um, cardboard back style, you know, the regular um, VHS casing, but this is the clamshell version of The Wizard of Oz, and I thought this was really cool and could not pass this up. This is a Warner Brothers um, Family Entertainment um, release here, too, not Disney, um, but you even have special features on here, too. Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the making of a movie classic. And two vintage theatrical trailers, plus an outtake musical number, The Jitterbug. Um, that was actually, um, that outtake was actually meant to be in the movie originally, I believe, but they thought it was kind of too dark or something. I can't remember the entire um, deal, but uh, I think I watched it. I have this on DVD as well, like a special edition that has a bunch of cool bonus features. So there's uh, Wizard of Oz, which I'll stack back there. Um, next, I have uh, the Warner Brothers Entertainment Classic here. Um, none other than The Goonies, which I have on DVD as well. Um, everybody should have The Goonies on DVD if they don't. Um, but a Richard Donner film uh, presented by Steven Spielberg. Um, I really love the cover of this. I did not have a version of The Goonies on VHS, um, just DVD. I uh, really love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, you can't really go wrong um, with The Goonies at all if you have not saw it before. Definitely go check it out. I actually know people who have not saw The Goonies before, but that was a cool update there. Another uh, Warner Brothers Family home entertainment uh, release. And I have another Warner Brothers Family entertainment release here, and that's Free Willy. How far would you go for a friend? The most uh, rousing family adventure since E.T., it says. And that's kind of interesting that it says that, because I'll show you here in a second. Um, but Pure Magic, You Will Cheer. I always liked this movie. Um, when I was a kid, when I saw this, actually, let's see what the date it was. came out in 1993, so I was 11 years old when this came out. Um, and I thought it was a good movie back then. I always liked Free Willy. And uh, a lot of jokes and stuff about Free Willy, but uh, classic cover there of him jumping over the rocks there. So, pretty cool. 13-year-old street kid, a three-ton work of well, a friendship you could never imagine, an adventure you'll never forget. Pretty neat. Free Willy. Um, and, you know, I said, you know, it's kind of funny they mentioned E.T. there because I did pick up the limited edition. Sorry, I get my hand in the way here of my camera, but limited edition um, E.T., the extraterrestrial. I have uh, another version that's the uh, regular, you know, cardboard sleeved release of E.T. right here. Um, has a different front though here. Um, it has the boy uh, and E.T. flying across the moon there, the classic um, shot, but this one has actually them touching the fingers together too. So very cool. I like the uh, like shininess on this too and how they kind of uh, made that kind of like, I don't know how you explain what they made that, like a foil, like shiny foil type deal. But uh, that's another cool one that I picked up. So glad to have two versions of E.T. You can never have enough versions of E.T. Have it on DVD as well. E.T. is one of my favorite movies ever since I've been a kid. That was actually the uh, top movie whenever I uh, was born in um, 1982. 
when this was released initially. Um, this was the top movie whenever I was born that was out with E.T. I remember seeing that one time. Um, but we'll put that back there. So good pickups there so far on the non-Disney related uh, clamshells. Here's another non-Disney related clamshell. Another Steven Spielberg Presents movie. Um, a dinosaur adventure for the whole family. Wish for a dinosaur and watch all your dreams come true. It's We're Back, a dinosaur story. And I always um, really liked this movie. Um, it was from 1993 to I was 11 years old. I remember watching this in school and stuff. Um, but I thought, you know, Steven Spielberg, you know, he brought you um, Land Before Time as well. Um, he presented that and some other animated features. His animated features were always um, well done. If he had his name on them, they were always pretty good. And uh, I liked We're Back. And uh, just to show you, I'm not trying to trick anybody. The VHS are in the case. Um, so that's cool getting We're Back. Um, here is a MCA Universal release, which is the same as what We're Back was. I didn't say it, but this is Casper, Seeing is Believing. I actually have an empty case of Casper still um, with no tape inside. Um, I actually ended up being Pooh's Grand Adventure inside of there. I got them from like a family member back, and they had I had the case, and I thought I had the movie for the longest time until I opened it up and checked out inside. But uh, you can see I'm not fooling anybody. This is Casper. I've always been a big Casper fan, the original cartoons, whatnot. So had to get this clamshell. We had this when I was a kid, too. Um, here is one of my favorites as a kid, The Sandlot. And I remember watching this and then going out and playing with all my friends like I was playing in the movie. Um, I always loved uh, The Sandlot. You're killing me, Smalls. Two thumbs up. A charming and whimsical comedy about boys and baseball and a great big dog. Siskel and Ebert. Giving it two thumbs up. Can't beat that. A rush of memories and laughs with every crack of the bat. A+. plus. So cool to have this Sandlot uh, clamshell. I think I had that as a kid as well. Kind of got some writing up there. Um, another one of my favorites that I have on DVD, um, The Indian in the Cupboard. This is the same one that I had as a kid that came with the free Indian cupboard and key. Um, and the thing about it is, is that I always remembered this being like looking like a cupboard and I finally realized that whoever had this, um, or you could just go in to the uh, case and change it around and then you'd have your front looking like the cupboard there, which I thought was cool. And if I can find another one, um, where I can display it with the cupboard, that'd be cool too. Um, but I like this on there for now cause it kind of. You know, it has the name on the side and everything, so I didn't really check out if the... Uh, yeah, I think it has the name on the spine of the cupboard side, too, but um, I just like all the uh, the front cover poster art there and stuff, and now it says free Indian and cupboard and key. I remember I used to have that Indian and key, too, and there they are. Um, the actual picture of the uh, Indian with the key, and the cupboard is none other than the case itself, so... Um, you can transform the outer box into a cupboard. So, yeah, you, re you reverse the insert. And so, yeah, cool little deal. And there's the tape, too. have this on v uh, DVD already, but I always remember having that clamshell version when I was a kid. Can't go wrong with that. Pretty cool. Wish I had the Indian in the key, though, or I could find it somehow. It'd be neat, because that's one of my favorite movies and one of the most underrated movies of all time, in my opinion. Here is uh, the Rugrats movie full-length hit movie this was put out by paramount and uh paramount um back in 1998 released this i was never a huge rugrats fan but uh pretty good conditioned uh rugrats uh vhs here in clamshell um form so figured i'd pick that up there's a lot of rugrats fans around there i mean i'm not not a fan i just haven't ever got really into them here is Scooby-Doo's Great Mysteries from Cartoon Network. Pretty, pretty cool one here. Um, also uh, put out by uh, Warner Brothers um, Entertainment there. Um, but it has several um, episodes that were selected by the fans themselves and now are available for the first time ever, it says on this video. I'm sure they've been released again. Um, like I have the DVD of the first five episodes of Scooby-Doo and I have Scooby-Doo's Zombie Island and whatnot. So that's a cool addition. Um, these are ones that I, uh, picked up in a flip thrift shop and flea market fine, but I'll just scan them anyway. Joseph King of Dreams from DreamWork. 
was able to get that one in there. If you haven't saw my uh, thrift shop and flea market finds videos, go back and check them out. Also, Little Women um, got from that uh, find clamshell. And then uh, this one I was happy to get, My Fair Lady, Audrey Hepburn, Rex Harrison. Um, my sister's a huge Audrey Hepburn fan. So um, I was very happy to get this one. Um, really good movie, too. I actually have my sister a version of this, too, because I found two of these. So I picked it up and gave my sister a version. Then we have uh, Baby Take a Bow, Shirley Temple, um, family feature, exclusive color version. That's the uh, family feature version here, 20th Century Fox. Um, any Shirley Temple movies are um, good to grab, in my opinion. I'm going to zoom in there real quick. You see the uh, early poster there. And then um, the other last uh, non-Disney one related that I have is uh, Shirley Temple and Heidi, um, which goes in that same set there. It looks like they had a set of these, but these are the only two um, that I could find at the time. Three and 15. Uh, Fox Video Family Feature. Um, but this one is also a Fox video family feature so all three of these go in a, like kind of like a set subset um, but there we have those um, and now we're going to get into the Disney related ones I'm sorry there is a lot of videos in this one I want to run through um, Disney related this is not Disney and neither is the next three but they are kind of related as you can see um, this is Mary Martin in Peter Pan and the thing about this is it was made in 1960 and um, it captured, you know, the Disney one in live um, adaptation form. Um, the original Disney Peter Pan is my favorite of all Peter Pans. And I love Hook, too, um, which was a uh, like a sequel to the Peter Pan story um, where he's older, played by Robin Williams. But this was uh, Mary Martin, actually a chick playing the young Peter Pan. And you see Hook there, uh, the Lost Boys everybody's there um but yeah man i uh always loved um this version i remember it um whenever i was a kid this is like one of the first adaptations of peter pan that i ever saw so i'm putting that into the disney collection and it's pretty much a disney one but it's good old good times platinum series as you can see there and look at that peter pan or peter pan is proudly sponsored by none other than raisinettes Yep, the original family musical classic, classic, excuse me, the 30th anniversary collector's edition. This was 1990. The movie was made in 1960. So cool there. Now here is the 1996 version of The Adventures of Pinocchio. And of course, I'm a big fan of the original Disney Pinocchio. And this is cool because it kind of shows him change, you know, from a boy into, you know, the coat and everything. So it's kind of cool. Um, this is the limited edition Magic Action Art cover. Martin Landau, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Uh, Landau just passed away um, a few weeks back. Rest in peace to him. The classic comes to life, you can see there. Jonathan Taylor Thomas of Home Improvement fame played Pinocchio in this. I always remember this adaptation, though, and I always remember kind of liking it. Um, but this is, you know... It says the classic comes to life, so they're pretty much playing off the cartoon version by Walt Disney. But that was actually put out by New Line Cinema there. Um, I'm not sure if they had any kind of permission from Disney to do this. Nope. Because uh, Pinocchio is pretty much up for grabs, I think, as far as a movie goes. Um, here is another one, that the last one that's not pertaining to Disney, but it kind of ties in with the next one I have. Speaking of Robin Williams, this is Jumanji. Never did have this clamshell. I had it as a kid, but I did not have it lately. And they're actually making a remake of Jumanji, um, which I'm not looking forward to. But rest in peace to Robin Williams, one of the best comedic actors of our time. And the guy did a lot of great serious roles, too. And I thought he did a great job in the original Jumanji. Um, but yeah, rest in peace to him. We've had t way too many pass away due to suicide, and he's one of the greats that did, so... Um, yeah, I had to get this one. You know, it's about the board game that comes to life, so interested in that new one that they have. And the reason I showed that is now we're into the Disney ones, and this is none other than Robin Williams starring in Disney's Flubber. Oh, yeah, he makes Flubber. Um, you just have to watch it to see 
if you have never seen it before. Um, but it has eye-popping visual effects and uh, gravity-defying comic genius of Robin Williams. It's a hilarious adventure for all ages. Outrageously funny, it says there. 100% pure fun. Um, you gotta love Flubber. I know this is on Netflix, so if you're interested, check out Netflix. Um, but nice little uh, clamshell case here. And, you know, I'm not trying to fool everybody. Um, they're all in there. Might go in here at the end and try to show you more of them here as I go towards the end. Here is uh, Muppet Treasure Island, which is a Walt Disney Picture Presents Jim Henson Productions. Muppet Treasure Island, you know, Jim Henson actually... Um, is owned, or not Jim, not Jim Henson, but the Muppets are actually owned by Disney now. Um, so um, they still had Jim Henson on this at the time. I'm looking for a date here, um, but it is Walt Disney Pictures, so this must have been after the purchase. Um, I don't see a date actually on here. Um, 1996. So yeah, I think by then um, Walt Disney owned. Um, the Jim Henson puppets there. Um, I may be wrong, but I was thinking so. I'm not sure. Um, but I know that now the puppets are owned by Jim Henson and other divisions of the Jim Henson company are owned by Disney, not Jim Henson. Probably. Jim Henson did own them previously. But I like anything Muppets, and that adds into my Muppet collection there in the clamshells, which I'll show you here in a bit. Here are two classics that I was looking for for a long time. Now I'm looking for like Alice in Wonderland and the Black Cauldron and a few more that I don't have of the classic classics that I like to say are the classics. And this is Cinderella and this is the Masterpiece Collection of Cinderella. And yes, I did not have Cinderella. It's the hardest one to find. This is still the only version of Cinderella that I've came across um, in my searches for search down for all these. Um, but I was able to pick this one up. Um, great version of Cinderella. Everybody's got to love that. Prince Charming there. And then um, Pocahontas. And it's funny because after I found this one, then I went to my local thrift shop and they had a Pocahontas as well. Um, this is also a Masterpiece Collection video. Um, Pocahontas um, has great music in it. Um, the film was well done. I think this would be a good live action one that they want to do. They're doing the Jungle Book. They did the Jungle Book. Um, and they're going to do um, some other ones into live action form. I think the Lion King. Um, but I think it'd be cool to do Pocahontas. Um, so I was very, very glad to get those two classics, Cinderella and Pocahontas, to go into the collection that I was missing. Next here, I have um, Walt Disney Pictures' Brother Bear. Yeah, can't beat Brother Bear. Um, I've never really saw this one, but it's a Walt Disney one, so had to pick it up. Um, next um, was kind of a mess up. Oh, as I dropped some back there, but oh well. Um, I already had Lady in the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure, so anybody wants to trade or is down for any trading, you have one that I don't have, and you want this one, maybe we can do a swap VML or something like that. So just let me know. I'd be happy to do that, so... Lady in the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure. Just showing you that it is in there. Uh, Pick that up again on accident. This is uh, DuckTales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Very cool. Very heavy one here. Movie Tunes Presents Disney. Um, this one has a date of... Well, I don't see it right now. Yeah, I don't really see a date here. But uh, nonetheless, um, I want to watch this one. DuckTales the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. I don't know if they ever did another DuckTales movie or not. I'm not real up on that. I'm going to have to check it out. Um, but this might be um, one of the only DuckTales movies they did, or very few. Um, next, I already had these two, but I didn't have the Masterpiece Collection ones. Um, the Little Mermaid. I thought the cover art, and this is the fully restored special edition, was pretty cool. It has a bonus uh, never before seen video of part of your world. My sister loved singing that when I was a kid when we play this. I always loved Under the Sea. Great music in this one. Great movie. Um, I had the uh, Black Star or Black Diamond one. Um, not Black Star, but Black Diamond um, collection version of uh, Little Mermaid that had the, you know, I don't even want to get into it, but there was some naughty stuff put in the background on the original. And then I picked up um, the Masterpiece Collection Fully Restored Limited Edition of Sleeping Beauty. 
Um, I also have the Black Diamond version of Sleeping Beauty as well. That was one that was hard for me to find. Um, but you see there are approximately 15 minutes of bonus programming and a special commemorative booklet, Sleeping Beauty. I don't think that's in here, but nope, I don't see it. But there you go. Um, tapes are in all of these, like I said. Mm -hmm. So just had to pick those up because uh, I kind of like having both the Masterpiece Collection and the Black Diamonds if I can get them. So, usually when I see um, that I can get a Masterpiece Collection or something, I will pick it up. Getting down to the nitty gritty here though. Um, been 20 minutes in, so sorry it's taken a while, but I had a lot to get to. Here is Hercules Zero to Hero, and this was a follow up to Hercules, um, Disney's Hercules, as it said that, uh, um, it says, um, what can I say, what, I looked at this earlier. Um, it, yeah, it says it boasts an all-star cast, including, you know, Tate Donovan and James Woods returning as Hercules and Hades, the roles they made famous in the original animated feature. So, sorry it took me a few to get to that, but, yeah, they return. So, I'm not sure if they did a, another Hercules movie or not, but I'm thinking these may be the only two releases they did of Hercules. Zero to Hero, which tells, like, three different stories that he's involved in. Um, pretty cool. Shouldn't be missed, it says there. And uh, I don't see a date on here. Hmm. Hercules Heroes of Zero. And I have the original Fantasia, but this is Fantasia 2000. I actually passed up on this once, but uh, found it again at another um, Salvation Army, I think it was. I've never saw Fantasia 2000. It says it contains a collectible commemorative booklet on the art, music, and technology of Fantasia 2000. I'm pretty sure that that does no longer exist. Maybe it does. Wow. Did I get lucky? Never looked in here. Um, but it looks like it might be in here. And it is. Wow. Very cool. The booklet is actually still in here. Huh. That's pretty neat. <laughs> and not in my wildest dream did I ever think that it'd still be in here. I haven't even looked inside of here yet. But very cool. All the inserts are in here. And the booklets. Uh, look at that Disney... Magic Movie Rewards, earn free videos and DVDs, look inside for details. Um, so I wonder what year this is. I have to look real quick to see if I can find a year on this. Um, I don't know, you think it's Fantasia 2000, and DVDs were already being launched, then it says. But I don't see an actual date on the back. It's hard to find dates on some of these. But anyway, Fantasia 2000, got the booklet in there. Pretty sweet. Like I said, I need to watch that because I've never saw um, Fantasia 2000. Okay, and then getting down to some live action ones they did. I got four left here. First is Sinbad, First Kid. Uh, Disney's best comedy in years, it said there. Uh, funny, real funny. The entire family will love First Kid. And obviously, it's the president's son, uh, Luke. And uh, Sinbad is obviously uh, his bodyguard. So, very cool. I remember watching this as a kid and liking it, too. And it, I remember it being on a lot, too, on TV. So, another Disney clamshell there. Here is uh, Tim Allen, Jungle to Jungle. I remember this one, too, the perfect family film. You know, we got Tim Allen now um, from uh, Home Improvement fame. And we had, uh, who was it in that Pinocchio? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, I think is his name. Um, we can get him together here. Yeah. Can't find it now. There it is. So Jonathan Taylor Thomas right there next to his uh, dad on Home Improvement. But anyway, I thought that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, Alan is a Marvel, charming, funny, clever, perfect cast. Tim Allen is an it again. He has uh, power and engagement to a beautiful fashion designer. He has it all. But when Michael travels to the Amazon to finalize his divorce from his first wife, a jungle doctor, she reveals that he also has a blow dart shooting giant spider carrying 13-year-old son. <laughs> so yeah, I remember watching this. Pretty decent. And then uh, another one with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I shouldn't have 
pulled out Pinocchio because this is actually a Disney one, and it's Tom and Huck. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Um, Huck Finn. And uh, Tom and Huck. Man, this is a classic story. Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. So, they tell the tale, obviously. They've done several movies on uh, Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. But this is one that Disney did. And what year did they do this? I don't know. I, I know I've watched this before, but it's been a long, long time. Great fun for the whole family. Um, so we got uh, Ta Jonathan Taylor Thomas playing Tom Sawyer and Brad Renero playing. Brad Renfro playing Huck Finn. A lot of kids get into trouble. These two invented it. Gotta love that. So, another Disney one that I picked up. And this one here was sealed, and it's the last one that I have. And it's The Journey of Natty Gann, uh, Meredith Salinger, and um, John Cusack star in this. And I don't know much about this movie. Never really saw it before, but it was sealed. And it is Disney, so... And even the Buena Vista Home Entertainment stamp down there, so it's not some uh, random wrap job. It's from the actual factory. So that's very cool. Got the Walmart stamp up there. June 04 is when this was put out. So, 13 years ago. But the, this has been sealed for 13 years now. Cool. But uh, that was the last of my updates of my Disney clamshell collection. And now I'm going to take you back and let you check out the uh, overview of um, the ones I had so far. So I'll be back with you in a second here. So I'm back here, and sorry for the lighting, but this is the overview of um, all the VHS Disney clamshell that I have and the, you know, random miscellaneous clamshells over here from different companies. This right stack is all um, but a few. And a lot of the Muppets here, too. You can see Muppets Christmas Carol, Muppets uh, Classic Theater, Muppets in Space, Meet the Muppets. Now I have uh, Muppets Treasure Island, even like Batman and the Mask of the Phantasm, Miracle on 34th Street. You can see I have a lot of classics over here, witches, whatnot, Ice Age. But then over here are all Disney classics, live action, animated Pixar, whatever. The Beauty and the Beast, uh, Beauty and the Beast Christmas one. There's my Sleeping Beauty and Robin Hood, Three Caballeros. Two Goofy movies, too. Anybody wants to trade a Goofy movie, too, have that. And then, you know, the other classics here. All the Aladdins. There's the other Fantasia I have. It kind of fits in with the color of the 2001. Aristocats, Bambi. There's my other Lady and the Tramp, too, that I have a double of, just to show you. Kind of dark over there, but you got Sword of the Stone, Jungle Book, Return to Neverland, Peter Pan, Great Mouse Detective, Lion King, all three of them. There's the original Pinocchio that I love, and there's the original Little Mermaid that has that crazy front cover that, you know, I'm not even going to get into. But uh, yeah, guys, I want to thank everybody who watched. I'm really happy that I picked up all these additions to my Disney clamshell collection. And until next time, guys, I don't know how many more of these I'll have to go because I don't have many more Disney movies to get. But if I do, I will do another update. But this was 4.0. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe. Give me a comment down below. Give me a like. Much appreciated, guys. Next time, peace out.